Did you know that the insecticides and pesticides that you use for your own benefit can actually be harming your body? Organophosphate pesticides are widely used for many different reasons such as insect killers, per, uh, pesticides to protect crops, and many other things. Recent studies have arose on just how much they affect the human body. I'm going to tell you how they affect the human health and what all you can do to protect yourself when using them. According to the National Center of Biotechnology, organophosphate pesticides interrupt the, um, the way the endocrine system works. They inhibit cholinesterase, which is an enzyme in the human nervous system that breaks down acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter that carries signals between nerves and muscles. The toxin affects the hormones testosterone and TSH, which is your thyroid stimulating hormone. The toxin can bind to androgen and estrogen receptors without activating them. This antagonist action blocks the receptors and inhibits the action. The pesticides interfere with the synthesis, transport, metabolism, and elimination of the hormones, thereby decreasing the concentration of the hormones. Because of the blockage on the receptors, the production of the hormones decrease. According to the Toxopedia website, exposure of the pesticides through you can be exposed to them through your occupations or through dietary and environmental exposure farmers use have to use tolerable amounts of these pesticides on their crops because of course we buy things from the grocery store and that is how humans can be exposed to them if the farmers don't use the right amounts tolerable amounts of these pesticides are not much harm to humans but farmers are responsible for making sure that the levels do not get too high High levels of chronic exposure to the pesticides can result in death. But scientists have discovered that even in low level exposures can be crucial to young children's health, especially in infants. According to the National Geographic Center, symptoms of the exposure of the pesticides can be headaches, restlessness, convulsions, coma, tachycardia, hypertension, bradycardia, hypotension, nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, wheezing, and weakness. The CDC released, according to the CDC, the release of those symptoms are growing each and every day. Symptoms vary from person to person, so it kind of just depends on how you come into contact with the um, the levels of the pesticides that you encounter is what depends on the outcome of the exposure that you have to the pesticide. Some of the pesticides have worse effects than others. It just really depends on which one you come into contact with. They're all very dangerous though so the best thing to do is to not use them unless you absolutely have to. Organophosphate pesticides can be great for when you want to get rid of the spider crawling across the floor or the pesky fly that won't quit buzzing around you. But every time you spray something that falls into that category, you are putting your own health at risk. The three things I stated are only a small portion of the negative side effects of organophosphate pesticides. Exposing yourself to these chemicals, disrupting your endocrine system, and ending up experiencing some of the possible side effects of these pesticides are not worth the small amount of benefits you think they give you. Next time you want to spray something, the best thing to do is avoid using these things, period. But if you have to, the things that you can do to protect yourself are to 1. Apply a mask so that you do not breathe in the chemicals. Two, make sure you have gloves on so that you do not come in direct contact with the chemicals because they can seep through your skin. That is one way you can get them. And three, uh, make sure you have um, a gown on, like the PPE gown. That can protect your clothing because it can seep through your clothing as well and that can be another way of direct contact. And you can also need to make sure that you have appropriate shoes on so that you don't the skin. Some of the pesticides can eat through your skin, so the best thing to do is to make sure your skin is completely covered when using these. That way that you also don't come in direct contact with them, you don't breathe them in, and 
You ne also need to make sure you have goggles on to protect your eyes because some of these pesticides can blind you. Like, if not all the way, then a small portion of the eyesight can be taken away. Your chances of coming into contact with these dangerous chemicals decreases dramatically when using appropriate PPE.